everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm super excited to be unboxing with you one of the orchids that's been on my wish list for several years now, ever since I first saw it pretty much. Um, but it's a hybrid that's particularly difficult to obtain in Europe at the moment. And this is the Iwanagara Apple Blossom. Now, I think up until a few years ago, this was widely available in Europe, but it seems like ever since I started trying to expand some of my orchid hybrid collection, particularly my cat layer hybrids, and when I was searching for this, it suddenly was not available anymore. Now, I contacted several orchid nurseries and got the same response from all, and that was that they no longer had a supplier for the Iwanagara apple blossom, and that they would try and get one, but that they believed this was fairly widespread in Europe. And all, indeed, all the European nurseries that I contacted gave me the same kind of response. And I even contacted some eBay sellers that I used regularly, and again, same sort of response. And they'd never seen it, they'd heard there were problems getting it in Europe. So I kind of waited and sort of resigned myself to the fact that I might not be able to get it. And I thought, if it comes up at all, whether it's a seedling, whether it's not a very good looking plant, I will get it. And my eBay search alert on Saturday told me that there was an Iwanagara apple blossom available in Europe. You know when you can save your searches and the eBay app will give you a notification? It's probably not a good thing for an orchid addict to have on their phone, but it became available in France from a seller called Buscal Orchidie, and I've never ordered from them before, but I don't care about that. I've got the orchid, I hope. So we're gonna unbox, and since I was ordering from them, I bought another one, um, the Moniarera. Millennium Magic Witchcraft, which is uh, one of the famous black orchids, which I believe is more of a dark purple colour. But yeah, we're going to unbox them and see what they're like. I don't care how big the Iwanagara is, I'm just so happy that I've got it. So let's take a look at what we've got in the box here. Ooh, we've got lots and lots of these polystyrene things. So I'm glad that my cat isn't around or he'd be trying to eat all of them. And that is my invoice, which I always like it when sellers provide an invoice. Oh, and I can see a leaf poking out of the snow of polystyrene here. Okay. So this is the Iwanagara Apple Blossom because I can see the tag. And it doesn't look tiny, does it? At this stage, I would take any Iwanagara that, that I was able to get, to be honest. I didn't really want to buy any more orchids, but I kind of thought to myself, if I don't get this now, I'm not gonna get it, so. This is interesting. What is this stuff? So shiny. <laughs> it looks like the sort of thing you'd put up at Christmas to decorate with. So this is the Awanagara Apple Blossom and it is the pink variety. And it does indeed look to be very similar to what I've seen of the Iwanagara Apple Blossom, which is that it's not just a bifoliate, that it can produce trifoliate growths. Or, I don't know if that's a word, trifoliate? Multifoliate? Many leaved. And that does seem to be a trait of the Apple Blossom, so that is a positive sign. If I got a unifoliate Cattleya, we might be wondering whether I actually got an Apple Blossom or not especially with considering how difficult it is to actually get hold of one of these. And we can see we've got lots of healthy live roots. This might be a bit of a nightmare to unpot, um, but it's got live roots. So that is already a massive bonus. It does look a bit dehydrated, but this latest new growth is very substantial. And I did, I'm not sure if I see a sheath or a new growth or a new leaf poking out of there. zoom you in. If I get my little torch on it. Do we think that that is a new leaf? It probably is. It's probably not a sheath. That would be too much to hope for, wouldn't it? 
but yeah, I'm so, so happy that I've got it and it looks to be in good shape considering that I would have taken pretty much any plant at this stage. I've been looking for the Iwanagara for so long and they do some such beautiful variations of the Iwanagara apple blossom. They do like the, all the different color forms. Um, I think the US is the best place that you can get these at the moment. I'm not sure. Europe seems to be a bit of a struggle. Oh, we've, we've got some new roots poking out actually, just at the bottom. So I'm gonna repot this immediately. Sorry, it's so difficult to actually, because it's so welded into this cup, but can you see those little nubs? It's literally just starting new roots on this growth. So that is gonna get repotted straight away while I've got that opportunity of new roots coming out. So yeah, isn't that cool? I'm really, really happy. And I know it's another orchid and another unboxing video, but I just could not pass this one by considering how long I've been looking for it. And the fragrance is supposed to be absolutely incredible. Obviously that's a massive draw for it, but it's also a really beautiful flower. And I love big cat layers. I like ones with nice, juicy, big pseudo bulbs. I know <laughs> that's not very good for space, but yeah, that's what it is. And we've got one more in here. Oh, this looks promising, doesn't it? Let's get all of the um, packing peanuts out. It's got more of the tinsel inside it. Oh, good roots, right? unfortunately in one of these tight sphagnum moss things which is a bit of a pain for me because I didn't really want to have to repot it but look how fat it is that's really cool I'm just gonna peel some of these sheaths away because who doesn't like watching a nice shiny pseudobulb emerge right Oh, look at that shine. Who doesn't love a nice, fat, shiny pseudobulb? That's what I want to know. It's um, one of the biggest pleasures that I get is watching pseudobulbs fatten up, um, which is one of the main draws to Catacetinae for me, actually. So I can't even get this tag out. It's so crammed in there with roots, but Moni Arara, Millennium Magic Witchcraft and the awarded variety which has famous very dark purple almost black flowers. The other very famous black orchid is the Fred Clarkiara After Dark but I prefer the shape of the Moni Araras. So those are my two orchids from Buscal Orchidie in France and I've never used the cellar before I probably would never have bought from them if these hadn't come up from them, but I'm really happy with the plants I've got actually. So I probably, if anything else that I want comes up from them, wouldn't hesitate to buy from them again based on what I've got here. And yeah, it needs a good water, but I think that that wrinkling on the pseudobulbs is caused by lack of hydration rather than lack of roots by the look of it. So that is my little mini haul for today and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did and want to see more from me and more updates on these guys, then give us a like or subscribe to my channel for more regular orchid updates. And I will see you guys later. Bye!